Well, Niger is one of those states that has suffered from French military intervention and destruction in the region. The French are inordinately dependent on the exploitation and plunder of Africa. The French had military personnel in Niger. When their military personnel were thrown out of Mali and Burkina Faso, they were redeployed to Niger, and they were stoned on the way to their bases in Niger. The France has exploited the mineral and natural resources of Niger. The French uranium mines in Niger not only exploited the uranium resources of Niger, but France has also closed mines and left radioactive material that, that is deleterious to the health and safety of the Nigerian people. Now, everyone in West Africa is calling for the ending of the CFA franc and the domination of the economies of West Africa by France. They're calling for the removal of the 240,000 French personnel in West Africa. In the case of Niger, France is opposed to any plans for the reconstruction of the country. Let's take the major plan in this region for the reconstruction of the country. That is the replenishing of Lake Chad. You started this news broadcast this morning by talking about a fire in Hawaii. Those kinds of fires are going on all across West Africa because of global warming. Global warming has accelerated the depletion of Lake Chad. Lake Chad has lost 95% of its water resources. There is a plan by the Lake Chad Basin Authority to replenish Lake Chad. Who is against this? France. Who is against investment in reconstruction in West Africa? France. Who has been supporting, who allegedly has been supporting terror groups in West Africa? When the United States called for investigation into Boko Haram, it re was revealed in the Nigerian newspapers that the French has been supporting Boko Haram in Nigeria. So the French create terrorist groups and then goes into African countries to say they are fighting terrorism in Africa. This kind of duplicity by France and fomenting terror and destruction has been challenged by the peoples of West Africa. In every country in West Africa, they're calling for the ending of French economic, financial, and military domination. So we in this country must call on our representatives and our, um, our political forces who are progressive, for example, Okaze Cortez, who is a progressive member of Congress. When she was a student, she went into Niger. Why are they not raising their voices against the militarism and militarization of West Africa by the United States military and to call for investments in health, reconstruction, water supply, and the safety of the people of Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali? The United States, France, is gung-ho about reversing a military coup in Niger. What about the military coup in Sudan that has been supported by the United States, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates? What about the destruction of the military in Sudan against the peoples of Sudan calling for the restoration of democratic relations? We cannot be selective in our opposition to militarism. We must oppose militarism of all sorts in Africa. But the priority at this moment is for the removal of France and to call on the United Nations to have sanctions against France for its destruction and militarism in Africa.